block diagrams if you take any physical real time systems it will be having many number of basic control system elements like inductor capacitor mos spring and dash pot to represent the entire functionality of the system very frequently we go for block diagram representation if you take any block diagram it will be having three basic elements called block branch point and summing point first let us consider block block is represented by this kind of diagram inside the block we uh, write the transfer function of that element the arrow head towards that rectangle blocks represent the input the arrow head away from the rectangle box represent the output when the signal pass through this block it is getting multiplied by the transfer function for example here in this block the output is b so the input a gets multiplied by g of s and we will get it at b so we can write it as b is equal to a into g of s so if you take any block inside the block we write the transfer function when the input pass through this transfer function it is getting multiplied by the transfer function and the output is generated now let us consider branch point so this we call it as branch point the branch point is one from which the signal goes to more than one blocks here the signal a goes to g of s similarly it can go to many other blocks so from this branch point the signal a reaches the block g of s so the output b is equal to a into g of s suppose if we have any other blocks here for example h of s here we can represent it as a into h of s so from the branch point the signal can go to more than one blocks next let us consider summing point summing points are used to add or subtract more than one signals for example this is the summing point here we have plus and here we have minus suppose if i supply signal a here and signal b here the signal b is subtracted from a and the output i will be getting is a minus b suppose if i have plus symbol here then at the output i will be getting a plus b so by using block branch point and summing point we can represent any uh, real time control system in block diagram to find out the block diagram we need the differential equation governing the exact physical system now let us see how to draw the block diagram of uh, armature controlled dc motor to draw the block diagram of armature controlled dc motor we need the differential equation governing the armature controlled dc motor this is the first equation va is equal to ia into ra plus l suffix a into dia divided by dt plus eb we can number this equation as 1 where va is the input voltage and eb is the back emf 
IA is the armature current, RA is the armature resistance, LA is the armature inductance. Second equation we can number it as 2. T is the torque and KT is the proportionality constant and IA is the armature current. This we can number it as equation number 3 where J is the moment of inertia and omega is the angular velocity and B is the uh, friction constant. Similarly we can number this equation as 4 and this as equation number 5. To draw the complete block diagram of the armature controlled DC motor, first let us consider the first equation and draw the block diagram of the equation number 1 alone and then 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on. Then we can combine the individual block diagrams together to form a complete block diagram. So let us consider this equation number 1. On taking the Laplace transform of equation number 1, we will be getting Here in this equation we can consider this VA of S and EB of S as input and IA of S as output. So we can rewrite this equation as So these two components are input components and IA of S is the output component. So to find the output IA of S equal to So to convert this equation into block diagram, let us consider a rectangle block. Inside this we can write the transfer function of this equation. This is VA of S and this is EB of S. So at this point we will be getting VA of S minus EB of S. Then it is getting multiplied with this. We will be getting IA of S at the output side which is equal to VA of S minus EB of S into 1 by RA plus LA into S. So both this block diagram and uh, this equation represent the same functionality. Now let us consider the second uh, differential equation T is equal to KT into IA. In the previous equation we have taken this IA of S as output. So here we are going to take this IA of S as input and T as output. So let us take the Laplace transform of this second differential equation. So we can have this equation T of S equal to KT into IA of S where T of S is the output. So we can draw the block diagram. KT the input is IA of S and the output is T of S. So this block diagram represent this equation. Now let us consider this equation number 3. Here we have T is equal to J into D omega by TT plus B into omega. So in the previous equation we have considered this T of S as output. So here we are going to consider T as input and omega as output. So let us take the Laplace transform of equation number 3. So let us take this omega of S outside. So 
so we will be getting omega of s this is the output which is equal to t of s divided by j s plus b we can write this equation as block diagram so the input is t of s within the block we have this component 1 by j s plus b the output will be getting omega of s so when the t of s is multiplied with 1 by j s into b as per this equation we will be getting the output as omega of s now let us consider the next equation equation number 4 here we have eb is equal to kb into omega in the previous equation we have taken this omega as output so here we are going to consider this omega as input and eb as output so let us write the Laplace transform of this equation number 4 eb of s equal to kb into omega of s so we are going to consider this omega of s as input and uh, eb of s output so we can write this block diagram as kb the input as omega of s and the output as eb of s so now we can consider this next equation equation number 5 here omega is equal to d theta divided by dt here we don't have the previous output term eb here we are going to take this uh, theta as the output and uh, omega as the input from the third equation so let us find the Laplace transform of equation number 5 we get omega of s equal to s into theta of s so here the output is theta of s so i have to move it uh, left side theta of s equal to 1 by s into omega of s so i can uh, draw the block diagram for this 1 by s the input is omega of s and the output is theta of s so we have drawn a block diagram for individual differential equations for the first differential equation this is the block diagram and for this second differential equation t is equal to kt into ia this is the block diagram and for the third differential equation this is the block diagram and for the fourth one this is the block diagram and for the fifth equation omega is equal to d theta divided by dt this is the equation now our aim is to put all these block diagrams together to form a single block diagram first let us consider this first block diagram so for the first block diagram the output is ia of s so now I am going to concatenate this first block diagram with uh, second block diagram. So in the second block diagram I have the IA of S as input and T of S as output. So I can draw this block diagram after this first block diagram because this IA of S is the output and this IA of S here is input. So kt at the output I will be getting t of s. So I have concatenated the two block diagrams. Now I have to take the third block diagram. Here the t of s is the input and omega of s is the output. So I am going to concatenate this block diagram with this one. So the output is omega of s. So now I have to concatenate this fourth block diagram. Here the output is eb of s and the input is omega of s. 
this omega of s I can take it from here and the output eb of s should go here so I have to draw the block here this kb block I am going to draw here I am taking this omega of s branch here so this omega of s is multiplied with kb and the output eb of s is given as the feedback input so here I will be getting omega of s so the next step is to combine the last block diagram that is omega of s relating theta of s so this I can write here one by s the output theta of s so this is the overall block diagram of the armature controlled DC motor this block diagram forms the closed loop system for the armature controlled DC motor